took your advice. It was very good advice. Sean, Sean. Look, I can see that you think you know me, but I don't know who you are. My name is Captain Coulter Stevens. You're kind of freaking me out. Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. One of the few film review shows where we actually read the comments and then respond to them. And I just want to speak up and say that, that Matt Atchity is not a fat douche. Dude, yeah, no, I am. I am. <laughs> All right, well, apparently. You we caught were, me. We were mistaken. <laughs> I don't read your comments, and I don't think you're fat. Uh, Christy Lemire <laughs> from the Associated Press and Ebert presents at the movies Let's and some fat douche from Rotten Tomatoes. Exactly. He runs things <laughs> over there. Right, He's in the, charge. The yes. fat douche. Ask who, my employees. Mm -hmm. I am definitely a fat douche. The <laughs> fat douche who runs Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> uh, source code, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, the other girl, Michelle Monaghan. Vera uh, Farmiga, and another from, girl. And from, uh, Duncan, and from Duncan Jones, who you love. Because uh, he did Moon, we'll I talk about Moon. that momentarily. Duncan Jones from David Bowie. From his David Bowie, that's exactly right. right. So, what's the deal with the source code? So, story? source code stars Jake Gyllenhaal as a helicopter pilot who wakes up in this capsule and seems to be reliving the same eight minutes on this train. Talk to me, Sean. Look, I don't know who Sean is, and I don't know who you are. The military has put him on this train. He keeps going into someone else's head to find out who bombed this train. Where am I? You are inside the source code. What is the source code? It's a computer program, Captain. Source code enables you to cross over into another man's identity in the last eight minutes of his life. At 7.48 this morning, a bomb exploded on a train outside of Chicago, killing everyone on board. A man named Sean Fentress was on that train. He is now you. Think, Captain, remember back. Who bombed the train? I don't know who bombed the train. Then try again. Wait, no. I... So, what do you think? It's the same train, but it's different. I was into it for a long time, and I loved Moon. I thought it's it was... not even that long. It's like an hour and 40 minutes of my time. It's less. Valuable. Yeah. Yeah. 96, no, it's, it's, maybe? Yeah, but with uh, yeah. the crowd, it, it was under 90 minutes. It's sure. Yeah. My time is very valuable. But yeah. um, no, I loved Moon, and I was so thrilled to, to see Moon. It was this guy's first film. It was hugely resourceful and did a lot with a little. Um, so I had high hopes going into this. It's thrilling, and it's a fun puzzle for a long time but it gets kind of greedy with the gimmick. It's a very clever gimmick, and you're enthralled. He picks up different things each time. He goes back into this eight-minute segment, but it pushes its luck, I think. And it's more gimmick-driven than character-driven, certainly. Uh, I thought it got a little greedy, it's a good word, at the end, because I thought maybe the rules changed just a little bit. They totally changed. Um, but yes. that said, it was, I thought, extremely exciting. And I cared at how it was going to get resolved from the beginning. Um, and, you know, and I love Vera Farmiga. I think she's underutilized a little bit here, but she sort of adds a credibility to a part that in many films I think would have been a thrown away right. role of somebody just sitting behind a desk talking into a screen. A gravitas. There was a significant, I was yes. trying deliberately to avoid saying gravitas. I'll go with gravitas. I'm not afraid of it. Um, and so I like that. And, I th and, and like Jake Gyllenhaal, who's sort of so stoic sometimes that when he gives you the sort of emotion and the smile, like, I think there's a little visceral reaction to that. Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, look at him warm up. Isn't that great? Yeah, and there's comedy here. Like, he, he breaks up the yes, tension with some absolutely. comedy that we need, I think. Absolutely. I, I tend to agree with you. I didn't have as much of a problem with the ending, less than I did with overall the whole film. As you're in it, as you're watching it, you don't really care. And then the next morning, you're kind of thinking, you know, I think there's some holes in the way that they <laughs> set this up. But it's okay, because the movie is extremely well executed. Yeah. And I think whatever holes there may be in the plot, in the story... You don't really care because it really keeps you going, and I think all across the board, Joan Hall's great. Michelle Monaghan has uh, Monaghan has never looked cuter. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeffrey Wright was fantastic. Yeah. I was really impressed with him. I felt like he was kind of channeling Keith David a little bit. And that's kind oh, of really? what he sounded like. Yeah. Uh, a he different did sound, type. Of, he, did, he didn't sound like Jeffrey Wright. Right, and yeah. and I thought he was really great as the scientist who had come up with this kind of system. They don't do a really good job of explaining. At least no, in the they beginning, don't care. They but don't it's care. okay because it keeps the mystery up. I thought Jeffrey Wright was um, a little too, like, acting theatrical, like for mustache everybody else. twirling villainy. Yeah, like yeah. there was a degree. I was almost going to say that, but I thought there was a degree mm -hmm. in, in source code of yeah. Jeffrey Wright's great, but you're like, hey, look at the guy doing Shakespeare. Well, everybody else is in a sort of science fiction thriller. <laughs> We've been informed there'll be another attack in six hours. If you find the bomber, the next attack can be prevented. 
Concentrate on the passengers in your car. Look for ones who seem nervous. As always, you will have eight minutes. Eight minutes, and then I blow up again. <laughs> so uh, here, let me. T obviously, there are going to be comparisons made to Groundhog Day. It is Groundhog Day. Very similar to Groundhog Day, except if, like, if Bill Murray every day he went to the lobby of the bed and breakfast it exploded. <laughs> right, and had to of figure out who killed. was going to blow up Puxatani. What would you do if you knew you had less than eight minutes to live? I'd make those seconds count. I want to go back in. I'm going to save her. You can't. It doesn't work that way. Christina is dead. She doesn't have to be. You cannot alter this reality while inside the source code. I'm asking you to have the decency to let me try. Great. Six and a half. Uh, seven and a half. Um, I don't know what I gave it. I gave it a seven and a half. I, I, I would have given it a much higher score if there had been a, a little more uh, cinematic ending. What's going on? He's in trouble. Tell me everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. So uh, overall score then for uh, source code 7.2, uh, a solid recommendation. For you.